Well, how do their chums today? I received a letter in the mail. As you can see, it came by plane. Hey, girls, it came from overseas. So, who sent me a lovely card? A Christmas card at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Inside is some giveaways. So, yeah, we've got some cards here. This one says, Adventures with Dread. Yes, I mean, nice one. Thank you very much. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Thank you, Adventures with Dread. Nice. Adventures with Dread does a lot of content for uh, No Man's Sky. There's another card there. Hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. And this card is lovely. It says, Thank you for everything. Appreciated. All the kindness and help you have shown to me and you have been a major influence on me for my own channel. I am looking forward to 2024's meetup. Cheers! All the best for 2024. Ivy and Steve, your friend, Cyrene Carver. Adventures with Dread. Thank you very much. That is so nice of you to do that. Yes, thank you very much indeedy doody. Now, I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody else that has backed my channel and subscribed or viewed or shared my videos through this year. Thank you very much, people inside the viewerverse. Much appreciated. And I had something from Steam sent over to me the other day to congratulate me on my year with them. So I'll put up the details of that now. Boom. Anyway, people, thank you very much for joining me and thank you very much for making 2023 such an awesome year. I've got so much planned for the channel in 2024. We've got two awesome games that are still remaining with the channel, which is No Man's Sky and also Starfield in sort of like a sci-fi sort of capacity. But we're going to have a lot of fantasy games coming in 2024. Hopefully Dragon's Dogma 2. We've also got 19 Gale, which is very steampunk-esque. Really looking forward to that. And we've also got Towers of Azkaba, and we've still got Light No Fire. I imagine we're going to see lots of news for Light No Fire, whether it actually hit the channel, I'm unsure. On the sci-fi front, there's also Ark Raiders. I am hoping that that drops this year. There is a game that kind of bridges, actually there's two games that bridge the sci-fi fantasy genres, and that's Blue Protocol, which is a massively online multiplayer, it's a little bit anime, and there is a Pokemon clone, which is based in a fantasy world, with freaking guns and weapons and base building using the Pokemon -y type creatures. It's called Pal World, and that comes out hopefully in the first quarter of 2024. So, yeah, hopefully there's something amongst that medley that I've just said that interests you. Yes! And, anyways, people, thank you very much yet again. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.